Hey guys, AJ here back with another one for you. So guys, we hear about all these chicks whining and moaning and complaining about getting pumped and dumped by Chad. <laughs> And guys, I'm gonna start a new series, guys. Some of these chicks that are just like so over the top angry, they must have just come across Giga Chad. <laughs> like the final boss of Chad, right? <laughs> hey guys, this chick right here, she must have got pumped and jumped by like Darth Sidious Chad. <laughs> just, just, just check out how angry this chick is. So guys, we'll get into this. But before we do, like, subscribe, drop a comment. This really helps keep this channel going. Guys, check out my second channel and my lo local <laughs> description. And let's get into this. So fucking tired of being disappointed by men. I'm so fucking tired <laughs> of getting hurt. I'm so fucking tired of men lying and then calling it honesty. I'm so tired of men pretending like they want to be in a relationship with you and literally pretend and act like they are in a relationship with you just for them to turn around weeks later and say they don't want a relationship with you so what the fuck were you doing the entire time were we playing pretend how old are we i thought we stopped playing pretend when we turned like nine why are we still doing it why are you a little boy in a man's body why have you not matured yet why do i have to be disappointed and feel like a fool every fucking time right there guys i told you I told you guys, <laughs> we're not even a third of the way through, guys. We're not even a third of the way through. And guys, how many times do you think that she's let Chad? <laughs> and guys, like I said, she must have just got ghosted, pumped and dumped by Chad like, like a couple of days ago for her to be this mad. I'm so tired because from what I've also learned about guys is that they know right away They know pretty early on if they see it with you or they don't and they're not gonna waste their fucking time If they don't see it right and I'm not talking about like just keeping you around kind of breadcrumbing you Just to like be able to get into your pants so that you know you go out on a night out so that they can text you at 2 a.m And you come over I'm just saying like I've gone through enough I've been through enough that like I know the difference I can usually spot the difference I'm talking about guys that are coming over cooking me dinner hanging out multiple times a week going on dates paying for things I'm meeting their friends they're meeting my friends like very much dating right so you can do all of the long-term relationship -y things with me but then turn around and say you don't see the uh, long-term relationship with me because guess what knucklehead you aren't their girlfriend until they say you are and guys this is one of those things where these chicks right they're trying to quote unquote be strong and independent and get rid of all the gender roles i am woman hear me roar and numbers too big to ignore and try and gaslight let themselves into thinking that they control when a relationship starts she was saying they're doing all the long-term stuff it doesn't matter because he hasn't said you're his girlfriend yet and now she's sitting here on tiktok and i'm just trying to tell you that i have mental health issues i'm extremely distraught only, only I feel like my whole life is empty. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh my god, Lindsay, how do you deal with heartache? How do you deal with like getting rejected and getting your feelings hurt? I like don't handle it well, but the more it happens, the better I become at just like fucking letting it go. I used to always turn it around and be like, okay, well what happened and why me and what did I do wrong and why didn't he like me? Now Guys, do you honestly believe that? The lie detector determined that was a lie. Ah! There's no rhyme or reason. I've literally learned that it is nothing to do with me. And that's not to say I'm perfect. That's not to say that, like, you know, everyone has to like me. But I, it doesn't matter, honestly, what they tell me. It doesn't make it any better. So asking them, like, what went wrong, save yourself the fucking time. Save yourself the text message. Save yourself... They're gonna lie. You're never gonna get the real truth. It sucks to get excited about someone and to really put your time and energy and for it to be reciprocated and for it to be going well and then for it to be taken away from you without you understanding and without getting any type of like good reason. Because most likely, 
It has nothing to do with you. Okay. Because honestly, yes. I think he- If you honestly believe that- You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Yeah. Damn boozer. Let us stray. Run up. Uh -huh. Could see a long-term relationship with me because he wouldn't have done all that shit if he couldn't have and it's something that he needs to deal with within himself either one He's not ready for a long-term relationship period not because it's with you with anyone no, And maybe you're the you. first girl that he actually started to see and feel a long-term relationship with and he panicked He oh, freaked please. out he had put his foot in the water and he panicked and got cold feet and basically blamed it on you when in reality he might have some unhealed trauma isn't over his ex-girlfriend, is stressed out. Like you never fucking know, but most of the time the guy is not gonna take the responsibility or take the time to probably self-reflect and deep dive into why. Please, guys, are you hearing this? <laughs> oh, guys, man, copium must be on sale. I, he can't see a relationship with you when you guys get along like a house on fire and he probably won't find someone that he gets along better with in a while. And maybe he'll figure it out later and, you know, and be like, oh shit, I probably shouldn't have done that. But by that point, it's going to be too fucking late. So I can sit here and boohoo and be upset and, you know, and try to hope that he figures out what he lost or just understand that the person that you're meant to be with won't fucking like let you go and will realize how special the person in front of them is and won't do shit like this. I'm so Jesus Christ, guys, I told you. I told you guys, I told you. The cap, the copium, right? She is upset and guys, maybe the guy that you were dating knew that you're just the type of chick that's been pumped and dumped by a bunch of chads, right? You know what I'm saying? Come on, us guys aren't stupid, right? And guys, like I said, how does, a girl must be pretty mad Right? Guys, she's probably in her late 20s, maybe like almost early 30s. So maybe she thought that Giga Chad, who just dumped her, was like her last chance, right? Guys, listen to the hatred and the vitriol in her voice. <laughs> Yo, whoever you are, dude, you know what? Dude, whoever you are, Giga Chad, you are gonna get a round of applause from all of us. <laughs> hey guys, her first com comment, this one shit goes, so it's always the I'm not ready for relationship, so why would you pull me into one just to leave? You're not in a relationship until he says you are, you moron. Look at that, guys. Look at that. These chicks are cooked, man. They're cooked. Look at that. And of course... It's not my fault, even though I'm the common denominator in all these relationships, it's the men's fault. That's her self-reflection self here, guys. And guys, this is all over the internet, guys. It's a small group of dudes, you know, Chad, Wonderbang, and Tyrone Thund Thunderstroke smashing all these chicks and leaving a destruction in their, their wake. And guys, thank God, right? that they put it on TikTok for us to laugh at. <laughs> hey guys, are hashtags. You ready? Hashtag dating, hashtag single, hashtag dating rant, hashtag rant, hashtag situationships, guys. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Guys, I've ghosted chicks in the past, right? Come on. Hit once or twice, deuced out of there. Guys, drop in the comments any stories you have of creating monsters like these. <laughs> It's alive! Alive! <laughs> Have a good one, guys.